Hey, baby. Mm, God, sorry I'm late. Uh, work was something else. Yeah, I had to stay back and deal with whatever mess they left behind. Anyways, oh, how are you? Mm, come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> mm, look at you all comfy under the covers. Mm, are you ready to sleep? Yeah? Alright, you know the drill, babe. Um, where did you put your notebook? No, no, I'll get it for you. You don't have to get out of bed. Just uh, tell me where you put it. Over there? Okay. Uh, hold on. Here. Uh, let me sit down right next to you. So, uh, what do we have? Hmm. Okay, I see. Um, baby? I have to ask, did you write down everything you ate today? You did? Okay. Um, first things first, I'm very proud of you, as always, for making another day, for everything you've managed to eat and drink. I'm really, really proud of you. Come here. Now, when we... When we talked about this, when you brought up this idea to me that I would check every day what you've eaten, we agreed on how many meals, baby? Mm hmm. That's right. And today, perhaps you still have a little more way to go to get there. Hey, shh, 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 shh. it's okay. I'm not, I'm not blaming you. You've done nothing wrong. You haven't failed. This isn't a test. I'm very, very proud of you, baby. That being said, it would be even better if we tried to get just a little more in your system. Okay? Is that alright? <laughs> baby, I'm sorry. I know you're in bed already, but uh, I think we could spare a few minutes and maybe grab something from the kitchen. You know, just something small. It doesn't have to be a lot. And then afterwards, we can climb in bed together and we can go to sleep. How does that sound? <laughs> it's okay. It's completely okay, baby. I'm just, I'm just making a suggestion. And if you're not sure about it, do you want to just follow me to the kitchen? Because... I plan to have some crackers because I'm starving from work and if you like, you can take a bite out of them. And I'm probably going to get milk to go with that. So you can sip on that too. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Take my hand then. Thank you, baby. <laughs> mm. No, where is that pack of crack? Aha! Okay. Hey, baby, can you get the milk from the fridge, please? Yeah, and, and the glass, too? Hmm, let me see. I think we can go for... Two crackers, what do you think? Yeah, just two. Sounds alright? Well, if you change your mind, if you want just one, or if you want to have more than two, you can always do that. We have plenty of crackers. Mm, thank you, baby. I'm so glad you did this. <laughs> right. Uh, let me pour out a nice glass of milk. Mm-hmm. They'll go really nice with the crackers, I promise. All right, let me take a sip. You know, this is what, this is what, uh, have you ever watched, like, this, like, ancient Chinese, like, like, dynasty TV shows? I don't know if you've ever watched those growing up, but, you know, there's always this person who's in charge of, like, tasting the food in case it's just poisonous. Well, I, I guess it isn't exclusively Chinese, but, hmm, mm. damn, that is the best 
milk and crackers I've ever had in a long time, baby. <laughs> yep, it is I, the food ambassador, and I am here to promote our show-stopping, spectacular, never the same <laughs> milk and crackers. So, would you like a sip of our super galactic explosion special? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on, baby. Mm hmm. Thank you for giving our uh, extraordinary galactic Big Bang concoction <laughs> a try. And because you're our one and only guest tonight at the restaurant at the end of the universe, you can have as many tries as you want. <laughs> mm, sorry. I just wanted to see you smile. And in fact, you'll be pleased to know that that's how we charge in our tiny little diner at the end of the universe. Wait, what did I call it? The restaurant, the restaurant at the end of the universe, right? You flash a smile and all your bills are paid. You don't need to take out any money. You just need to smile. <laughs> Only applies to you, of course. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm, good job, baby. Here, do you want another cracker? Go on. Or do you, do you want half? I can break it in half for you. Okay. Okay, here you go. Half. <laughs> it feels like I have a pet cat. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. You know, uh, I remember this cat I took care of. A while ago, you can you can you can eat while you listen to me. Uh, this cat I took care of, uh, like in my university, wait, when I was in uh, when I was living with my friends. Um, he was my friends, but they were out of town, and I had him over in my place for a few days, and he would only drink water out of my cup. So I had to like get him a cup on my desk. Pretend to drink it, leave it for a bit, and you'd be drinking it when he thinks I'm not watching. So <laughs> that was funny. And he never touched his water bowl. <laughs> yeah, it was it was really fun having him around. Uh, it's like having an extra roommate you can cuddle and kiss all the time. Well, I mean, I guess I don't need that anymore because I have you, but <laughs> just like for extra. Hmm. Do you ever want a pet baby? <laughs> of course we can. Once we settle down and get a place of our own, it's it's nice to have something around, you know, to keep you company. And just for your information, I'm open to pretty much most pets, I think. Dogs, cats, birds, definitely though. Uh snakes. <laughs> snakes if you're down. <laughs> No? Yeah? No? Alright. Are you done with the milk, baby? Do you want more? Okay. Sure. What about the crackers? You're good? Alright. Excellent. Okay. Before we go back to bed, come here. Mmm. You're like tasting food in your mouth, baby. <laughs> it's not gross. It's it's loving and meant to be tender. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 sure. I'm just a big old romantic. Yep. You've got it. Hey. <laughs> look at me. Just <laughs> just look at me for one second, okay? I know I keep saying this, but uh I really am so proud of you. Not just for the milk and crackers. I mean, yes, I am very proud of you for having our super galactic bomb ass special, <laughs> whatever. In general, you're so, you're so strong. You're such a strong person just by pushing through day after day and 
you know, coming up with that notebook idea and sticking to it, it's, 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 it's amazing to me. And I know that on, on days like these, you feel bad about maybe not reaching a goal that you previously set or just not feeling good about yourself because of, because of all this. But, uh, I, I, I'll always be here for you. And I, I haven't been through the things you've been through and I can't imagine what it's like to be in conflict every day with, with, with your own body, your own mind, and the things you keep seeing around you that, that make you feel uncomfy. And I, I know I can't do much. Really, all I can do is just, you know, words and, and tell you over and over how proud I am and how much I love you. But I want you to know that whenever you need it, um, you can always come to me and I'll be here, even though sometimes my boss is shitty and I have to work overtime, but I'll, I'll try to be here <laughs> for you as much as I can. Okay? <laughs> right, now, now, um, now you've heard my supposedly romantic <laughs> de declaration. Let's get to bed, okay? All right. Come on. I love you.